Hi everyone, Suzanne Ullman here, heart failure nurse, San Antonio, Texas, Seward Blue Jay, class of 1994. Thank you, etc., and to whoever donated this to etc. The best thrift store in the United States of America on the corner of 5th and Seward Street in my hometown, Seward, Nebraska. I believe that this was 25 cents that day. Um, so today's message is about calibrating our expectations. So I just want to say, and I tell this to patients who are experiencing a sudden change in their life because of their health. So these are patients who uh, were feeling fine, one day were short of breath, ended up in the emergency room and got a stent to their one of their big coronary arteries and now are basically resting for the next 60 to 90 days while we assess how to keep their heart now that it's been damaged going. Something like that. Someone who had big open heart surgery to repair a valve. These are people who were feeling fine and then weren't. And now their life looks different and sometimes they're depressed. So one of the lessons I teach them is a lesson I learned from writing, which is if you're having trouble writing, lower your expectations, lower your standards. And it sounds kind of funny, like, yeah, just um, as long as you put words on paper, you're a writer. Well, that's what we tell people who are studying writing because putting words on paper is writing and sometimes that's enough, okay? I'm gonna give you an example of how I'm having to lower my expectations for myself during this very stressful international time. Number one, we have broken more glasses. I broke a random jar of olive oil. And yesterday I broke our coffee carafe that we use to make iced coffee, which in our climate here in South Tejas, very important. Lots of things breaking here. I might as well be kind of a four-year-old again, though I've always been um, prone to breaking things. I've also noticed a lot of people making artisanal wonderful bread online. So I was like, I'm gonna make some bread. I'm from the Great Plains. We make bread all the time. Well. I just want to show you the loaf I made today. Somehow I baked a loaf of bread that has a butt crack. Yeah, Pablo's outside, he's embarrassed himself. That is a butt crack. So I have had to just lower, <laughs> that's unbelievable. I, I dumped it out of the bowl and, okay. Um, it's just a message that I need for myself and my own sense of well-being, which is kind of shattered right now because of just constant worry about my patients and about the general population and about family. I know my parents are really depressed because they're not getting to celebrate Easter the way that they're accustomed to. Um, so just think about that. Think about, are you are you pressuring yourself to perform at a perform at a standard that is unattainable uh, for you personally or for you under current circumstances. If so, take it down a few notches. Bake some bread with a butt crack in it. It's still gonna taste delicious and you will always remember this time for the broken glasses, the constant worry, and the butt bread that you baked, okay? <sighs> Hang in there. Go Blue Jays. You can do it.